The first three videos set the uh, context for what we're up to with this. The first talked about the toolbox, the second one, the business case of what we're trying to accomplish with the stream, and then also we talked about some specific things around building pick lists. So our goal now is to create a, a record, uh, and to do that we're going to take inputs. Uh, but really the first step whenever you're you're looking at building records is to make sure that when you do uh, an edit, so I'm going out to the lessons object, and I'm going to see uh, what are the required fields, right? What are these that are required? Uh, what's the information I want to make sure that I've captured? Um, and then what I'm able to do is to go back into my flow and to look at the flow to see are all the is all that information there? So what I'm going to be doing, and I think it's in, it's important to kind of do it in reverse, just because it seems to work better. Um, I'm going to create a single record rather than multiple records. Uh, we'll do multiple records as a next step in another another video, uh, and then we're going to be pulling variables from lots of places as opposed to a, a single variable, a single record variable. But you'll again okay, we'll talk about that. And so what we're doing is creating a lesson object uh, with this creation process. And then these are the required fields, right? Uh, and so these are taken from Salesforce. You can see the C, these are custom fields. Uh, and if I add a field, uh, what I can do is to say, let's just look at assistant instructor. Uh, and when I go into here, these are the values from within the flow. And so it's saying, I've defined some constants, I've defined uh, and this, this is really all the information uh, from the manager portion of the toolbar uh, that we can pick up when we get over there. Uh, but the idea is, is that there are uh, is lots of information that you can pull, including variables. Uh, and so if, I, if I'm looking at this, the only other thing worth making sure you see when you're creating records is the store uh, the lesson ID. So as I create a lesson ID, then I want to store uh, lesson ID in a variable called, and I've defined a variable called active HS session ID, and that'll be important in the next step. So I'm going to click cancel for now because uh, all of these fields we're going to see are being pulled from the prior step. So then we can go in and we can say, okay, to make sure that all those exist, we need to work with this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have dropped in a text field, uh, and again, this is just looking at the at the screen input components, I've got a, something called text, and I can drag that in. Uh, I named it as HS Session, and that becomes the API name, which is what we're drawing on in the flow. Uh, and then the next one is a pick list, because we're talking about lesson type, and it's drawing on this choice record, which is we did in the, in the prior video, we showed how to actually get that. Uh, the season is another required field. That one is a uh, multi-select pick list. And again, we pulled that from uh, a created list. Um, and then what we're able to do is to look at start time and date. Uh, and then I've put in here kind of lesson duration because that's going to be important. And also uh, kind of number of weeks of lessons, number of participants, number of volunteers, just to give us a sense of how many we're going to be creating. Uh, so I'm going to cancel that for now, and what I'm going to do is to actually turn this piece off for now. I'm going to say I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to save it, and it's going to tell me there are all kinds of problems because I've got lots of things that I'm that I'm trying to save. So there are warnings that you, you know, you need to make sure that you uh, you, you know this is the case. And I know it's the case because I have all these that we haven't done. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is to run it. And then what I'm able to see is this is the screen. It's going to take a second to build. Uh, this will be with my input screen. And so what I'm going to do is to add that information into it. And then we'll be able to actually see it uh, on an input record. So I'm presented with this screen. I'm able to in, enter. Then there's a, here's a, a lesson name, basically talking. It's Maple School on Tuesday. It's a city to Saddle Spring, a date, uh, and a start time. I'm going to say next. And it's going to then create the next one. But looking at my Salesforce system, I see that I do have a lesson created in Maple School Tuesday. It was just created. Uh, uh, gives me a sense of all the information was there. So it all worked. And now we can talk about next steps.